All right, today I'm fixing a RC cooler. It's basically a cooler with power wheels, guts, steering, and motors, like exactly the same thing. I bought it used. It would not go forward, only backwards with a remote control. So it did a bunch of troubleshooting, new battery, which is usually the cause, you know, because it would go backwards really slow and not forwards at all. So I got a new battery, chucked it up in there. Nope, didn't work. Took it apart. Here's the board that was in it. Couldn't find anything obviously wrong with it. It would click, but not really well on forward, but aft would click. So I figured relays were bad or something, and that stuff is way too small for me to mess with. So called the company. Really nice people. They said, hey, yeah, we can send you the, the board, but we don't sell just the board. It comes with this whole control panel, which also has this circuit card attached to it is kind of like a controller on off charging port thing for like 60 bucks. And I was like, mm, no, because it didn't have Bluetooth and I wanted to add Bluetooth. It just had a uh, in jack and the Bluetooth board was like 80. And I was like, I wasn't really impressed with the sound in it when I had it the first, you know, working. So I was like, no, I'll just build my own. So here's what I did. As you can see, Pulled this out, pulled this out, which I desoldered here and here where the switch is on and off for the power and the, I guess you could call it an amp, whatever's on there, I don't know, for the headphones in. Wasn't very loud, didn't sound good. Tiny speakers might have been part of it, but it sounds pretty good now, so I'll show you what I did. I got a generic Power Wheels remote control. RX 43 for 12 volt. Got it all wired up there. I'll uh, post the diagram here. But basically, power plus top ground, your motors, so you can orient them whichever way you need to go, and then the steering here. This connector. I couldn't find what it's called, but I had a RC car stuff, so I dug through the box and I found a Tamiya Mini connector fits in there. It won't click on the connector, but it fits in there nice and snug. So that's what I used. For those you can see, I just used standard angle uh, wire connectors, spade connectors with plastic to help them not arc with each other. Plugs in there on those, fine. If you wanted to find the right connectors and do all that, you probably could, no problem, but I got a big box, works fine. So got it all wired up. I used their switch, like I said, desoldered it from that board to control main power. All right, there we go. There we go. Got it focused. All right. So got their power. Use that, and then I use this switch to connect to my MP3 board, Bluetooth board, whatever you want to call it. Here's what it looks like. It's very, very nice, high quality. It's China, yeah, I know, but. Man, it is nice. I've used them in the past. I got three or four I bought at a time. I'll post a link. It's by, let's see if I can get on there, Wandam. They also make a daughter board if you want to do some uh, lithium powered stuff too. All kinds of connectors. You can do standalone lights and sound control and all kinds of stuff. So the way I have it hooked up is I have it in there. Velcroed to the battery tray. I guess you could add another battery, but it only had one. So got it wired up in there. Got a volume control, power light, and Bluetooth pair light. And there's the little circuit card for the volume control. So it's kind of nice, it's remote. So you can, got a bunch of wires, you can stick it wherever you want. And then I put a headphone jack in there in case you got something without a Bluetooth. Who doesn't, right? So I gotta figure out what to do with these holes here or move this stuff over, because I initially tried to use their board and it's too much stuff on there and too hard. So I just took it out and wired it direct, way easier. So I'll fill these or something, cover them up. Anyways, got it all hooked up, so I figured while I am building it or repairing it, whatever, might as well make it better, right? So, turn it on. Oh yeah, check that out. Woo! Got some lights. It's just a, a car uh, kit and a soundboard. Got a cool remote. Can do all the colors, sound, and uh, or there you go. Pretty cool. So uh, let's see it go.
So that wiring gram I forgot to show you on here, what I did, you need the two pins on the end jumper that would be like the power switch on the power wheels. And then you could hook that up if you wanted to a switch, but what I did was is just use the switch to turn off the battery power to everything so it's all dead when I turn off the switch, not just that little jumper, which on here, you can see it's just the little pins right there, just a you use a computer jumper or like I said, wire a switch up. This is for your normal power wheels, a shifter and gas pedal and all that, but I don't have that since it's all RC only. All right, so there it is all buttoned up. I still gotta wrap the wires up nice and tidy, but there we go. Power's on the MP3 or Bluetooth, whatever, blue lights on, solid. I'm paired to my computer and let's hit something real quick. See if the sound comes through good. So I can control the sound on my device. Turn it off, turn it on, or the knob there, so you can kind of get a dual action. On the bottom, I've got a box right there that controls the sound. Double-sided taped, four bars in the pack stuck on there, some zip ties holding it all together. I'll post a link, I think it was like 15 bucks. Like I said, cool remote, I have it set on the sound right now. You can change the color, it's just solid. You kinda gotta point the remote at that box, so. There's red, we got blue. I think there's one that changes the colors. Or sound activated. I tap on it. Or like. Not bad sounding for such small speakers with that new amp. Of course, no uh, bass contest, but here we go. Okay, remote came with that box. Forward, back, left, right. got three speeds, slow, medium, fast, and a parking brake. Up to speed. So there you go. Hope it gave you some ideas if you want to build a cooler or have one to fix or even the power wheels or something like that. You can use these same principles. I'll post links in the description, all that stuff I got. And uh, hope it gives you some ideas. Enjoy.